Alright, so, um, realistically, this is not gonna be my best made video. Just straight up isn't. Uh, not particularly motivated to do it. Not a big issue. Obviously, it's taken me, uh, literal months to get around to, to making this video. Um, also, I don't really play Melee very much, so I haven't exactly had a reason to switch my Smash Box to a, uh, box format. But I have been getting lots of comments, and so I'm gonna show you guys how it's done. Um, most of the content, most of the things you need to know, are already in a README in the um, <laughs> in the download. So uh, I'm going to show you how it's done and what you need to do. But you probably actually gonna get more from the README than you are gonna get from me in terms of how this works. So. Um, you want to switch your Smashbox to a box. There are pros and there are cons to that. Uh, biggest pro, obviously, for me at least, um, is the modifier buttons. Uh, I enjoy, or I prefer the way the modifier buttons work on the box. And so, uh, editing the, the code using Crane's, uh, code that he made for his own, uh, do-it-yourself box, um, you can have it act as though you know, it has modifier buttons instead of the normal X1, X2, Y1, Y2. Now, if you have not uh, played with your Smashbox already, you should try that first. You should enjoy, or you should uh, experience um, using the Smashbox before you try to switch it to the box right away. Like, if you have just received your Smashbox in the mail or just picked it up, don't immediately try to make it the Smashbox, you know? So, um, this is for those people that have played with the Smashbox, maybe are interested in trying what it would feel like if you have the, uh, the box modifier buttons, um, and you're willing to switch. It's really not that hard to switch, oh, I'm gonna show you now, obviously, um, but I just thought I'd throw out that, uh, little disclaimer for those that are interested. So, let's get into it. Alright, also, I'm not going to be editing this video very much at all. You can actually see, I've got the uh, the overlay up, so let's close that. Switch on over um, to the, the, I'm going to actually close Dolphin, because Dolphin does not need to be up for this. So, desktop, there we go, thank you very much. Alrighty, so, first thing you want to, you obviously want to do, is you want to open up your Smashbox uh, designer software. Which you should already, like, you should have this installed. There's, I'm going to put a download link down below anyway. But, once again, if you've already used the Smashbox for a little bit, you should have this. You should have, like, a preferred layout. Um, mine, as you can see, is actually very similar to what the box uses. With a few differences. I keep the tilt button the way it is instead of using that for L. And I use WASD instead of, uh, you know, up on the pinky. Which is, honestly, what I recommend everyone does. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's preference. It's okay. Anyway, so what you first want to do, what I recommend, is if you've already been using it for a little bit, export all of your layouts. Export this layout, and then this profile, this profile, and this profile all separately. As you can see, I've already done that, so in my browse profiles folder, I have a few here, but this is my profile 1, 2, and 3. I've already exported, and I've already saved. And, yeah, you should do that. You should just do that right before. Once you've done that, and you've exported your layouts and all the files, then you go to Options, and you hit Set to Program Mode. Not very hard. Uh, I'm also going to hit Use a Specific COM port so it knows, because I think that's... I, I'm not actually sure if that's necessary, but I'm going to do it anyway. So Set to Program Mode. You hit it. There we go. It's disappeared from the, the COM port thing. It's, it's been set to Program Mode. That's it. That's all you have to do here. So you can close that. And uh, keep this folder up because you're gonna end up you're gonna end up having to come back to it. Alright, next you're gonna want to open up the uh sorry, the smash box folder that will be again provided in the link in the description. The README will also be provided in the description. Um I am not quite sure who all needs to be credited for this, so it's about to cut to who should be credited. Big thank you to Crane for creating the do-it-yourself box code, for ZanDM7 for editing it for the Smash Box, and for Hexadecimal for adding the A2 input without reactivation. The README is in here. There's a lot of stuff to go over here, obviously, and so 
um, I'm not going to go over all of it. You should be able to read the README for yourself. I'm just showing you how to switch it from Smashbox to Box. That is all. So, <clears throat> um, you can open up the DUI, er, sorry, hold on. First, I should point out that you, um, no Arduino. Um, you should already have the Arduino IDE, which is in the README, um, also in the description. Uh, so, if I haven't said already, you should have downloaded everything that is in the description. Because <clears throat> it's very important for this. So, you have the Arduino, you already have the Smashbox Designer and Firmware. I God, I hope so at least. And you have the Nico Hood library. Um, <clears throat> to uh, I'm not gonna go over how to install the Nico Hood library because it's just kind of uh, drawn out. So just follow the steps right here. It's pretty easy. So a few things to note from start once you get into the software. The program is already set to have ultimate as the base mode. If you want to keep it in ultimate mode and just if you intend on plugging it in for melee. Um, hold B while plugging it into a GameCube or Wii to put it in the melee mode, <clears throat> and you hold X for Project M mode. Um, the Project M mode is actually pretty good in this. <clears throat> now, if you would like to use uh, WASD, which again, <clears throat> I personally recommend, but everyone's different, uh, then you simply uh, get rid of these two slashes and add these two there. Just as it says here, that just makes it into a comment, uh, meaning it, the uh, actual code for it is not read and applied. I think I'm not a, I'm not I'm not a programmer, <clears throat> but there you go. So up, down, left, right is now W A S and D, just like it is on the Smashbox, and that's basically all you actually have to do. This is um, the box layout, which um, obviously you can look up. It's, uh, also going to be an image in the description. Um, this is what I would recommend just straight up, you need to get used to playing with this layout. Um, the only difference between the box layout and my layout is that I use WASD and instead of having um, up be on your pinky of your right hand, I have that as shield because that is what feels comfortable to me. That is all. Alright, this is a kind of important uh, step that I almost forgot. Uh, you go to board. You hit Arduino uh, Mega or, two, or Mega 2560, uh, processor, same thing, AT Mega 2560, and then you want to click on your uh, COM7 port. It'll be the same port as it was listed in your Smashbox um, profile um, of the designer software. Sorry, there's a, a feather there. Anyway, so then you go upload, you wait, boom, it's uploaded. That's it. That's all it takes. <clears throat> Now, I'm going to show you in Ultimate how it looks. Alright, so we've loaded into Ultimate, and uh, as you can see, we um, it's uh, on the Smashbox setting. So we have the modifier buttons, my, X, uh, my two extra buttons by my thumb um, don't do anything. See, if I hold them down, either of them, they do not edit. They do not change the values. However, you hold either of these, you have a slow walk and a pretty quick walk. So, um, yeah, that's gonna be about it. Um, that's all you really have to show. The buttons again are just like they are on the box. And uh, yeah. All right. Anyway, that's gonna be about it. I would highly recommend if you're interested in trying out the box's modifier buttons, you can try it out. But again, I really would recommend. Um, you not just do this right away, um, instead of actually trying to get used to the Smashbox for its values. That is all I really have to say about the matter. I'm glad I can finally get this video out to people, because I know people have been asking for a while. Uh, only a select few, obviously, because this is a fairly niche subject. But, um, yeah, that's, uh, that's gonna be it. Uh, one final thing I'd like to touch on, real quick. This is probably gonna be my last Smashbox box video, period. So. Uh, if that's all you've really been subscribed to me for, thank you. I, I really appreciate it. Uh, a lot of you have uh, a good amount of faith in me, apparently. Uh, more faith than I had myself to make these videos, because, uh, admittedly some of them have been kind of demoralizing and not exactly the most fun to make, so, um, <clears throat> I really appreciate those of you who have stuck around. I'm going to be making other Smash content in the future. Um, once I actually am, again, pretty, uh, 
I don't know. I'm excited about. And so, if you happen to be interested in sticking around, I'd uh, really appreciate it. But if this is going to be it for you, I really appreciate you sticking around. And uh, thanks for watching.